Welcome to episode 64 of the Michaela Peterson podcast. In this episode, I spoke with Shane Gillis and Matt McCusker of Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast. Two comedians, one more well known from being kicked off of SNL before he got on stage. Oh man! So, What's up? did we? Did I talk to you about JP? No, that was after. Oh, I went. Saved and saw, I went and saw Jordan Peterson. Awesome. Got to meet him after. Went to the green room to meet the esteemed Dr. Peterson. By the way, that shit ruled. Yeah, it was like really good. Who, At first, I went with Francis. Francis has Francis is a book man. High in openness. Yeah, yeah. I had to be high in openness. Francis was like, "Do you understand this?" I was like, "Yeah, shut up." I'm yeah, listening. dude. No, I didn't understand. <laughs> At one point, he's like, that's a Freudian nightmare, isn't it? And I was like, who the fuck is Freud? <laughs> <laughs> At one point, this, this is what made me laugh. And I mean this story with all due respect sure. to Dr. Peters and Michaela. This is a complete respect. Absolutely. All right, so. I mean, dude, exactly. Yes, tip of the hat. Respectful as hell. To the Canadians. Our neighbors up north. One of the things he's talking about is how when you look at something, you're always valuing something. So like your eyes, you, you value things naturally. Mm -hmm. So whatever you're looking at, you're valuing that. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. All right. So whatever you're looking at, that's the most, not the most important thing to you, but your eyes, you've decided you're, you've got a value system. Sure. Something moves quickly. You naturally, you look at it because that's an, it could be a threat, something sure. like that. Anyway, we get done. I'm talking to Michaela and Jordan. And while he's talking to me, I was just looking at Michaela's tits. And it was it was making me laugh so much that I was like, while talking to him, I was like, <laughs> I've assigned value. This is better. <laughs> and this is nothing but respect. Of course. I wasn't like oogling. I just happened to look over and see them. You caught, they attracted, you thought it was a threat. They caught your field of view. Like, is they, that a fucking buffalo? No, they're just That was titties. not a threat. They're just dem titties. It was just dem titties. Dem titties. Dem Canadian. That Canadian shot down. <laughs> <laughs> you caught them in your line of vision. I saw someone at Ottawa. <laughs> He said, is that a woolly mammoth? No, that's some no, motherfucking titties that's in his milkies. It's that's Canadian milks. That's some big natty. And then I went back to respecting the doctor. That was big natty. That was, I saw some naturals. You assigned value to them. He's like, I value But those. in my head, I was, I was like, should I tell them how funny that is? <laughs> like, I was almost going to tell them. One person said, ask about the dick sirens. <laughs> <laughs> he may have he may have fought me. He might have actually been like, Well, I see what you did there. Yeah. It's clever. But yeah. he would have went But that's extremely disrespectful what you've done. Yeah, or you but he might but he might carry a knife. Yeah, he could have killed me on the spot. He might have. If I was or, dispatched or by JP, that'd be pretty tight. <sighs> Sent to the next realm but gains all your powers. <laughs> he just highlandered you. <laughs> He probably has it. He probably keeps a blade on him, I would I would imagine he keeps that thing. Something. Bow staff up his sleeve that he can <laughs> It was that was that was a wise move to keep that under your fucking man. yeah. If you that would that's a joke. I think he would have been like. I think that's a joke that even if they heard it now, they wouldn't really like that much. <laughs> it was fucking crazy just watching him. Talk. He his hand. Oh, he's, he's like, crazy, dude. <laughs> he's in the ether, dude. He's fully in the ether, and he's like, he's just walking around. But it makes sense when he goes and then and he it, pauses. And just, <laughs> he like freestyle raps for like a second. <laughs> yeah, he's Doctor Strange, dude. I At think first, he's well, I, he is Doctor Strange. He's Doctor Strange is for sure. That was your theory on Canadians. <laughs> they do. That was your theory on Canadians they forever, get, right? They get drunk and they corner you, and they're like, "I'm having a really tough time. <laughs> yeah. I'm having a tough go at it." Yeah, you're just like, "I'm sorry." Yeah, it's so fucking... cold all the time. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it is. We lost our great grandmother a couple of months ago, and I've <laughs> I've gained the ten fucking, pounds. I don't natives. know what to do. The natives keep fucking <laughs> taking our skidoos or whatever, <laughs> our snowmobiles. <laughs> and now we're not allowed to throw stuff at them anymore, and I'm just confused. I don't know what to do. Yeah, baby. I don't know what to do. Our leader is in blackface, and otherwise he's a good fellow, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's very confusing. <laughs> yeah, they're sad and confused at all times. It's that Canadian guilt. Big I'm time. sorry, you know. I'm very sorry about everything. <laughs> <laughs> bloody <laughs> what happened bloody to my, rule <laughs> what happened to my great grandmother is a tragedy it's the bloodiest rule that's what he kept saying <laughs> really JP kept calling things bloody and being like it's the bloodiest that's yeah but at the end he gave a very stirring speech really yeah he got emotional He's nice, dude. Yeah, I like good. It. He's got a. He, he said before he's a, he has a feminine temperament or feminine archetypal temperament or something. Yeah. It's personality type. It's a sick way to psychologize being like, I'm kind of fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty gay. I have a feminine archetype. If you're high in openness, you're running a danger. Of being gay? I have a feminine archetype as well. <laughs> yeah. It's fair enough. I mean, uh, it's just, you know, it's difficult. Yeah. <laughs> it's really hard for me. My friends would play with cars and I'd be like, well, what's going on with you, bud? <laughs> <laughs> How's your parents? 
Yeah. Yeah, dude. I had a guy corner me one time, and it wasn't even his problems. He was like, my buddy's wife's a bitch. <laughs> She's so mean to him, and I can't take it. It's tough to watch. And I'm like, you got to get out of this. And he's like, I can't. You got to just distract him with hockey. True. Toss it on. <laughs> Toss the puck on. They're like, oh, who's playing? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all they do. <laughs>